hello guys, it is your girl, Manifu Panda, and get ready for another Navy related video. I already filmed this and my SD card decided to, you know, say Merry Christmas and you gotta do it again. So you know what? We're gonna do it again. As you can tell by the title, this video is gonna be on what to pack for Navy boot camp. So I'm getting quite a few people asking me, you know, what do I pack for Navy boot camp? What should I bring to Navy boot camp? And my advice to you is to really don't worry about what to bring to Navy boot camp because majority of the time the RDCs on night of arrival are going to make you send it back home. I believe I mentioned this in one of my previous videos that you are going to have to send all of your civilian stuff home. When you show up there, you know, you're gonna have to strip down and put on the uniform that they give you and you are going to have to send all of your personal belongings to home. Now, you can bring like a small plastic baggie with some toiletries in there, like a brush, you know, if you have any specific hair gel that you like to use, you know, if you wanna bring your own hair ties, things like that, makeup, you can do that, but you do risk the chance of the RDCs that are there of making you send it back. So really the only things that you're allowed to keep are like religious material. So if you have like a Bible, I recommend bringing like a small Bible cause you have to be able to fit it in your A and B drawer. And you also, if you have like a religious necklace that has to be silver plated, they're going to allot you the time to buy the necessary items that you need to be clean. Toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, hair ties, hair gel. You are going to be able to buy that on the night that you get there. So you don't necessarily have to bring anything with you when you get to boot camp. Now, after boot camp, that's when I feel like it's most important to have your personal belongings with you. So a lot of times what people do and what I did was I packed a suitcase for my mom to bring when she came to my graduation. Now, if your family is going to your graduation, make sure that they know where that suitcase is. That way they can bring it with them, obviously, right? So what I packed in my suitcase was I packed some clothes, I packed my iPad, my computer, my camera, um, basically everything that I would use on a regular basis. And of course I did have some, some civilian clothes in there, but just know that you're not going to be probably using your civilian clothes after a couple of weeks when you actually get out of boot camp you have to go through a process to get the chance to wear the clothes so i just kind of ended up buying more clothes i know it's like counterproductive because you know you spent money on all your clothes back home now you're gonna have to go buy more so i don't recommend packing heavy just because you may not be in Great Lakes when you graduate boot camp. You're probably going to be at another command. If you did watch my last boot camp video, you know that I was telling you guys about the navygirl.org website where you can check and see where your A school is actually going to be. So just know that the more you pack, the more that you're gonna have to travel with. Not only are you gonna have your giant stuffed sea bag, you're going to have your backpack, your garment bag, and you're also probably gonna end up having a suitcase with all your stuff, and it's just a lot of stuff to carry around with you, travel with, and then you might you know, risk the chance of also losing that stuff. Now, for my females, I always get the question about makeup. I recommend just having your parents send you your makeup while you're in boot camp. You could also risk the chance of your makeup getting damaged. I know I had a girl in my division, her parents sent her her makeup and her makeup actually got like destroyed while it was being sent out here. I also did have one of my favorite highlighters break. So you do also risk that chance of your makeup, you know, breaking, your makeup never getting to you before your graduation pictures or before you actually graduate. So just buy the makeup when you get to the next and so that way you can wear it before graduation and you're good to go. You, you're, you're not there to impress by how you look. You are there, well, by like your face, you're there to impress on what you can do actually. So don't worry about makeup. You're gonna look good regardless because you're gonna be so proud and the confidence that you're gonna have on you is gonna make things look 10 times better. Trust me. And of course your shipmates are probably gonna have makeup that they would be more than willing to, you know, share with you as long as it's done in a sanitary manner. Oh, also, I know that I did a question, should I bring my phone with me when I do ship out? Should I have my phone when I'm traveling? 
yes, make sure that you do have your phone on you because you want to be able to have a means of communication in case something happens, in case your flight gets delayed. You need to be able to contact your liaison. That way they know yet yeah, you're going to be there a little bit later than expected. Also, make sure that you pack your skivvies, your actual civilian underwear, because you don't have to wear the skivvies that they give you in boot camp anymore after you get out of boot camp. So yeah. I also, I did want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos because I finally reached 1,000 subscribers and I know that's a small number to most compared to others, but I've had this channel for such a long time and you know, lately a lot of people have been watching my videos and it just, it makes me really happy because I love making videos for you guys and I mean, I mainly make the videos for myself because I'll think I'm funny. Be <laughs> Look out for videos coming the next couple of weeks. I know I said I was supposed to post a video last week or the week that was just, you know, but I didn't because, you know, life. Um, but I'm going home next week, so I'm going to obviously be vlogging when I get home and I'm gonna be making like some great content for you guys. Again, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please share these videos with your friends. That way they can, you know, kind of see what's going on in my daily life, okay? And then eventually they're gonna see how, you know, how you're gonna end up, you know? You know what I mean? They're gonna, they're gonna put, yeah. Anyways, other than that guys, I don't have anything else to share with you guys. I am signing off, turning out, okay, bye!